Tonight, we learn what linked a former cop in Northwest Arkansas to a 20-year-old cold case involving the sexual assault of a teacher. In the conclusion of our two-part special, Tyler Thomason shows us how a tragic murder just two years ago broke a case from 1997 wide open. From the front porch of her pawn and bait shop, Maybe five businesses here. Sharon Barnett keeps an eye on a place she's grown to love. Small town, small people, you know. Just <laughs> Gateway, Arkansas, and the northwest part of the state is home to about 400 people. Its winding two-lane roads creep near the Missouri border. Neighboring communities get even more desolate. Cows seem to outnumber people. It was along this road in early 2017, Sharon's comfortable corner of the world was shattered. You heard the shot. That's when you heard the shot. A booming gunshot, followed by the discovery of a man dead in his gateway work truck. He was an awesome brother. I mean, the victim was James Appleton. He was just that type of a brother that would bend over to help anybody. Moments after the deadly shot, deputies needed help finding the suspect. A name surfaced at the scene from a witness. Did you physically see him inside the car? Yes. Who was it? His name is Grant Harden. I just know that he worked for Gateway as okay. a policeman. Uh, he is the same as this time. Hours later, Grant Harden was in handcuffs. The same Grant Harden who used to be Gateway's police chief and worked a polka dotted career in law enforcement. I know you've been a police officer for a while now, so you've got, you understand. They snatched me up out there and nobody told me anything. I don't understand. He's certainly a very manipulative person. Nathan Smith prosecuted the case. Harden pleaded guilty to murder in exchange for a 30 year prison sentence. The Arkansas Department of Correction submitted his DNA sample into a database, which then cracked a cold case and sent shockwaves through the community. It was proven to be Mr. Harden uh, beyond all scientific certainties. Harden's DNA matched the DNA preserved in a rape case from 1997 when a teacher, Amy Harrison, was sexually assaulted at Frank Tillery Elementary in Rogers on a Sunday morning as a church service was held in the cafeteria. Harden pleaded guilty to the rape earlier this year. The man who worked as a police officer, a police chief, a county constable, and a corrections officer was now on the wrong side of the law. Grant Harden, in my view, in, in my personal experience, is uh, one of the most dangerous people uh, that I've ever seen uh, for the reason that he does not at first appear that way. Uh, he is a man capable of a seemingly uh, random horrific murder as well as a random horrific rape. That teacher from 1997, Amy Harrison, spoke to a crowd of media after learning of Harden's guilty plea. I don't know, I, I'm not sure that forgiveness is the word that I could use. I guess just um, settled. You know, he's where he needs to be, I'm where I need to be, and I will move on. But just 15 miles away, the rain still falls. You've got to move on, because life goes on. And, you know, the Lord's going to get us through it. He will. He's done a good job so far. And so do the tears across the street from the Gateway City Park, where Sharon's brother James is wearing his well-known smile. Grant Harden is serving nearly a 60-year sentence at a state prison in Calico Rock. He'll be eligible for parole in 2054. By then, he'll be in his 80s. Now, if you missed part of that we ran last night, you can find the entire thing pinned to the top of our webpage, krk.com.